Karakaneos, I'm adjusting the microphone on my end. This is Karakaneos coming to you live from Andromeda. And I don't know how quick this stream's gonna be. It's probably not gonna be quick at all. What I'm hoping to achieve is to bring you guys back to the good old Valhalla stream. And the game plan is to get through this next part of the night. I think I'm on night four. I think I'm on night four. I am definitely on, definitely on night four. <gasps> and basically, I said after the last session, I was going to read up everything this sesh and then do the, do the night until the break. Probably gonna drag on longer than I hope, but I... Hey, you know, fingers crossed. Hey, no, you stop that. But yeah, with finals being out of the way and me still being uncertain for my uh, collegiate future, I still may have to make some adjustments to the schedule time for me to start these streams because apparently six o'clock isn't it anymore. And that saddens me greatly. So I may be one of those late night streamers again. And while I don't mind it, things get weird, I guess. That aside, it shouldn't stop me from having you guys come through on a Friday, relaxing and having a good old drink. Though I'll be the one drinking water, I'm sorry. So, let's get right into it. You know how, well, if you've been here for a couple of sesh before, you know I try and read every little bit, and I try and try and shift my voice a little bit to differentiate between what's what. Whether that's gaining traction, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying Donovan showing up. <laughs> because I, I try and pull off a J. Jonah Jameson with him. $800 been charged to your account to renew your member to Shining Finger. If your subscription got renewed, she'll have no problem focusing at work today. I do remember that the last session, I did get a drink wrong because it was Stella. And Stella is very cryptic with her drinks. Happy not birthday, oh boy. You heard her. Knees shining finger to work. She has needs. Could be new things everywhere. Did I read this already? Probably nothing. read this okay Danger you dangerous opinion it's officially happening what do you think will happen probably nothing last time it was the leaks I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to talk maybe more leaks sounds unlikely I don't think the government would let that happen twice this is Alice we're talking about there's nothing they can't do what if that spooky message wasn't really Alice but just an epic prank who would hack a site like that just for a prank? Not me. You're right though. Might be someone else. We'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right. If only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice threads piss me off. Fucking e-celebs. Hmm. What if that has something to do with the terrorism rumors? Scared of it. Oh no, I done read this in the wrong order. Hey, Alice thread too. Electric bullets. Boogaloo. 
Stop forcing Alice. Do we hate Alice now? Good. Just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? LOL, yeah. And I remember the cyber crime unit up the atmosphere. That oh, second retribution. September 17th will come. The second re retribution. Birthday is coming. That fun. Oh boy, spooky fun is happening. Haha, <laughs> time for despair. Oh shit, fuck. Feeling. Oh no, I did read this already. I, okay, so I definitely re read this. Okay, no, no. So I wrote, read the danger you. So I guess anything with an exclamation point is. Sorry about that. Okay, the augmented eye. He wouldn't believe this shocking Karamiki secret. Look at that smile. Man. I just realized I'm not luminous. Hmm. You know, it's really been a rough week for me. Give me a quick second. Because, hey, I really like being luminous, okay? Did it work? It only half worked. You can still see me in the upper side. I know how to fix this. I, I promise I'm I promise I'm not new to this. I'm completely green to this. Don't mind me. You're not looking at a blank screen, I promise. <laughs> You're totally looking at a blank screen. Am I embarrassed? Only mildly. And visibility. Luminosity. Okay. My apologies. Gosh, I was like, man, something feels off. And then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not coming from you, sending you a signal. Okay. You wouldn't believe this shocking Karamiki secret by Kimberly Lavellette. Today, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the augmented eye. CONTENT BLOCKED IN YOUR REGION! It's a local page for fuck's sake. Alice Rabbit might be a Karamiki fan. AND WHO ISN'T? By Lana Smith. Everyone loves Karamiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what my proof for this not so wacky theory. And well, if you keep read, well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is an easy one. If you just, I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smith. Huh. Huh. They're messing with forces they can't grasp. Or it's a ruse. Crime rate up 5% this month. 5%? Incredible. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to make a Christmas a dangerous one. White knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals will come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. It is no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs and there is no solution in sight. This make a Christmas will be a very dark one. Could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Okay. Did Miki ever update her blog? No. Miki did not update her blog. I can't have a nap. Okay. Alright. Alright, and also okay. It's let's now that we got those formalities and mistakes out of the way, let's go to work. Get this started. December the 16th. Good evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? Sounded more like a gunshot to me. 
Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know. It's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah! Boss. Firecrackers? Yup. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual make of Christmas firecrackers. Nah. It sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey. <laughs> no reason to really change the songs right now. So unless there's some genuine requests, feel free to let me know, be it live in chat or on the YouTube comments for when it goes up next Friday. It is going up next Friday. Yeah, next Friday. Look, I may be uncertain about it, but it's simply because I had to, like, not stream all this week. So I've been out of the groove, unfortunately. <laughs> With that in mind, time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Yo, that looks a lot like Mr. Constanza. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course! You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under $80. Are you kidding me, man? The beer, isn't it? Heckin' beer. This man's gonna get ripped off. Oh, a gut punch. Well, that's right at 80. Is there anything underneath? That's gonna be some take it or leave it type stuff. <laughs> Just get him up and <laughs> get him a fedora. Uh, I can make this. Let's make the gut punch. All aged and mixed. Five Brunson extracts. One Flanagan. And so much karma trying that they're guaranteed to get. Whatever. Mix. Mix. Swirl. Mix. Alright. Here. Okay then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said, maybe, maybe not. Turns out it's maybe not. You're a go ghost boy. 
I'm just luminous. Also, hi, Cyan. Not a ghost boy. <laughs> luminous. Yes. It's to fit the, the cyberpunk thing. It's a cyberpunk bartender action, you know? Fancy. Glow in the dark boy. Well, I can be. I mean, I'm, off I'm awfully far away, don't you think? I do come from Andromeda. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll be your wet? <laughs> oh my gosh, um... Personal glow stick. It's fine, doggo. I understand what you mean. But that's some... That's some clippable offense right there. Regardless, are you having a good night tonight? I'm just reading things before a couple of streams come up. I did nothing. Yes, I sleep. But you don't sleep. <clears throat> I don't sleep with flies. Okay, I understand. Give you some info. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, Mr. Vondelay? Art Vondelay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm you're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. Two guns for hires that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. Oh. Ah. I see, I see. Naruto, Naruto. In in the smallest sense, I think I understand the context of who these two are, but I'll wait. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. See. Still, any information or rumors you could give me, they don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with local going on. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor worthy. Humor worthy, maybe. But not much about current events. At least, not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? You might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. Second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, it's been a major waste of time. A major waste of time. Oh great, my uh, mixing up the letters is coming into play again. Dang, I'm still the number one chatter for the leaderboard on your channel.
Yay, what reward do I win? Um, next time I come to Earth, I can give you all the head fats you want. Do I win satisfaction? I mean, for crushing my enemies. I'm not sure why you assume the other stars as enemies, but I mean, go off, I guess. I hear all I thought. Here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful. Something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Alright, let's give him a grizzly temple. Yep. What's the grizzly temple? Get him at a grizzly temple. All blended. Mix, mix, swirl of mix. I need to figure out a blending song. I vibe with this game's music. You should give the entire Valhalla soundtrack a, a good listen to. It's actually one of the songs. One of the songs from the game is what I use for my notifications, such as if someone follows me or if I'm hosted or rated. And I believe for donations as well, but I've never received a donation. And that's okay. But yeah, this music goes very hard, and it goes through all different, um, all different spectrums of like this, what you'd expect the cyberpunk genre to go. All right, let's start this grizzly temple. Yeah. Okay then, this is going to be deducted from the eighty dollars from earlier, right? No. Fine. Oh, and there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about the girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her mid-air makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbringers are looking to cause trouble at the bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait, I told you that. It appears on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name The Heartbringers wasn't new. No Glitch City Outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even then, the international outlets aren't using the name Heartbringers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet, for some reason. So you're either one of them, or someone in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah. Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass at Idol side. I'm glad I got to see Ponytail Kira in action. Yeah? I'm glad you did too, Doggo. I... Unfortunately, the drawback to my hair is... It's perfectly in place. So perfect that even if I move, it's not gonna move much. Barely the ends. Barely the ends. But I still love the way it looks. And I'm happy that I spent the night on working on it. It's looking stylish. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but that's not. Can you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol I had a show with a couple of days ago. Inter interviewing the idol I had a show a couple of days ago. Dealing with as the interns, par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's gunshot. It's a backfire. Firecrackers. Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sounds like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy. Come on, that's not even close. This is definitely more. Like an explosion of some kind. 
no, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeated so often. Now this... This scene was also inside of a uh, girl's front line, actually. That's why I'm having a strange sense of deja vu. Because I played that game's event and uh, it uh... There was a lot of scenes that just call back to it. So it's one of those, if you played the game prior to that crossover, you know. But now I'm experiencing this the other way around. You love to see it. I wonder if something's happening. I heard that there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict there. Which means gunshots. And that's the case. I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I got to go. Things coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs. But there will come a time when this place might help. But, please, come again. Gangs, then? Unlikely. This is Unicorn Territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. The who what now? Hmm. Just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. Left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. Oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> can I really pull this off? I don't think I can pull this off. Oh man, it's... Yes, she's very adorable. But now I have to somehow figure out how I'm going to uh, knock my voice a couple of octaves. She looks like a Pokemon trainer. Yes, actually she does. Mm. How ooh, ooh, can I get my voice to be? Ah. That's gonna sound awkward. Do I care? Not entirely. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Close. But no. Almost. Hi there. I'm streaming, Chun, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Bathroom time and naughty moments are only available to premium users. It's only $9.99 a month. Go premium now! Uh, it could be better. I'm gonna work on it. Um. It's Friday night! You all know what that means! It's time for Streamy Chun's Escapades! Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe, leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Oh, so that's what Shining Finger is. Buy your premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse, today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey, you! Where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he? Really? Right in front of you. Hey, you! Pretty boy over there! Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. Away. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dressed like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I wish that could be relatable content. But Friday nights are peak viewing hours, and it's peak viewing hours for well, those that are very excited to see those people pop off. I know that currently, right now, there should be several very high profile uh, things going on right now that I'm kind of missing out on, and I kind of feel bad about it. That's why I'm trying to get through this half of the night. 
I need something sexy or enticing to keep or enticing to keep them in interested. <laughs> Did that shit just say, "Hey kids, wanna die"? <laughs> Anime was a mis. I forgot the scrolling text for her. Yo, what? <laughs> oh well, oh well. There's an easy solution to that. There is. Yeah, just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Did you even use a bra? Is that a piercing glare? Is that piercing glare? No. Come on. One of us is gonna have to take their top off, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ugh. And it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we'll deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes or no answers. My vi my viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, don't you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't healthy. No, this reminds me of when I used to stream, and I used to stream with a webcam on. And yeah, you can probably find that in like my archives and everything. I used to stream topless. It was an experience. And I think I've told this story maybe 10 times already. But shirtless streams attract not the crowd that I wanted to attract. But I like doing it simply because it was hecking hot in my house. I mean, station. Sorry, I broke KV for a second there. <laughs> this is not family friendly. Valhalla is not a family friendly game. I'm sorry, doggo. <laughs> but it does create for very fun conversation. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest, the nastiest one you can think of. My family friendly eyes. I'm sorry this one isn't say so. Um, hello? Service here, please. Oh, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink. Nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. So, if we're going by type. And besides, I'm playing a game where I'm a bartender in a cyberpunk setting. I don't think this would have been say so in the slightest. Maybe a sense Zen Star? You think something so balanced would actually taste nice? You'd be dead wrong. Sour, promo, and bland. That may be the one. Moonlight? Spicy promo and bland. Oh dear god, her scroll chat is still going on. I miss short hair streaming, John. Yeah, same to be honest. I don't think that's gonna be the one. I could get her a fedora. Mmm. Promo drink. Yeah, I'm thinking the Zen Star is gonna be the one here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Zen Star is four of each ingredient, all on the rocks and mix. Is that the biggest, nastiest? So, four ally, four Bronson Extract, four Powder Delta, four Flanner Guide. And for common try. Oh! Mixing all four of them, I can't even add another. All on the rocks. And mix. And that is a Zen Star. I can't even make a big Zen Star. It just has to be a Zen Star. That's crazy. Here. Alright. Alright. Alright then. That one wasn't meant to come out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, um, alright, I can't settle my voice, 
in the streamy chime voice now because I went too high. <sighs> Alright. Alright then. Cheers. I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit it let it's like it hit me, but it didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay. In the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last weekend, we held a party for the Safe Bar Tour Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh. There's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, ins inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. This signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah. She came here before last concert. Get out. Really? Is this some sort of a secret bar hidden for the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her and she's actually seen willing but she's always busy. Very nice girl actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've ever met. It's kind of how I feel whenever I meet some of my, uh, some of the people I've looked up to. I'm not so sure if it's gonna be the same interaction or feeling if I ever get to meet uh, those of my hero, uh, not heroes, those that I look up to that does the VTubing. One of the bigger questions that I always ask myself about that is, will I be capable of treating them as I normally used to treat people? I used to treat very popular people the same, like it's, yo, everyone's family to me. I couldn't care less, so if I act like I know you, it's, it's one of those don't take it personal. I genuinely treat everyone this way until they prove to me, oh, you shouldn't be treated this way. You should probably be avoided, or hated, or it's got me into a lot of situations, okay? There's a reason there's a scar on the left side of my eye. Don't treat you mean. You didn't treat me mean when we first met, so I kind of have a have an idea of who you are, of what of what you can be, Cyan. And that's kind of important. They say first impressions are everything, and you know, <sighs> with first impression, there's that whole. Um, I'm a naturally awkward person, in person, so meeting me can make for interesting interactions. If you think you can actually bore through that initial part, you'll find that I actually really don't care and I'm extremely down to earth, you know? I am not mean. What? I didn't say you were mean. I said you didn't treat me mean when we first, uh, when you first saw my uh, streams, so I kind of have an idea of 
how you rock. You're actually a very nice doggo. Very kind hearted and you just want to see people happy. Yes. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. You don't come across as awkward. Trust me. In-person interaction and me when that light goes on are two completely different pe people. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. Yeah, Shine Spark's my favorite song too. Shine Spark! I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those that pay premium can hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now! That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this class? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over here had a pass with the KGB. Hold on! Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. Coming right up. Let's give her a... <laughs> Big bad touch. Jill is, Jill is such a child sometimes, and I just look as much as I fawn over Kira Miki, and as big of a fan of her as I am, Jill Stingray is just God. She's just I, she's basically like best. She's best. At this rate, I don't, I don't know of any other of the girls. Like, there's a lot of really, really good characters, really cute characters, sexy characters. Um, but then it's just Jill hits that level of relatable to the point of like, I, I care a lot about a lot of the characters, but you care for the MC the most, or at least that's that's kind of my stance about it. So it's like, as much as I'll talk about Kira, Miki, or Alma, as soon as Jill comes to the conversation, it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's the best right there. And she's basically just, like, from what I've gathered so far from the nights I've been playing this game, has been this dork of a girl, the flat-chested, pretty awkward, really loves her boss, hardworking, and it's just nothing but like there's negatives, but it's like those are nothing but good things for me. But that's just me somehow seeing the positives in everyone's negatives since one of my own gifts is being able to see everyone's negatives. And I mean pointing out the negatives in everything and still trying to Still trying to see past that to, for the good and for the good of people. Hasn't worked out so much, but I still do it from time to time. That's what happens when you come from an entirely different galaxy, you know? Is it supposed to be blended? Nope, just mix. So make the big bad touch. Or maybe I should deepen my voice. Make the big bad touch. Fish up. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in with a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. 
friendly reminder that today's excavate is brought to you by shiningfinger.moe. Leaders of the VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year premium membership for a neat code. That said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. <laughs> Meet Neat Dance. The Meat Man. I asked for a reason. It's one of this music video is a 3D model. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. Let's see. To be honest though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. Yeah, MMD is definitely where those specialist memes come from. expecting you to be more scared when I said that you were being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. I'ma make one for old Cyan. Yo, I look forward to it. I know you'll probably have to borrow a lot of parts though. Um, because making like an MMD model from scratch is going to be like hell on earth. And I believe you have to learn things like Unity and or Blender. And I believe it was Blender as the main thing to learn for it. And that was kind of what stopped me for a second from making an MMD model myself, was understanding how to make one from scratch. Well, you should probably look up some YouTube videos. When I tried to do this, this was about five to six years ago. I'm pretty sure things have advanced from there, doggo. Too lazy to type in MMD to your YouTube search bar? I mean, nothing wrong with being a lazy doggo. But you gotta have a bit of drive. Especially if you're looking to take over the VTuber world, doggo. But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. Relatable content. Very relatable content. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contact. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Doesn't involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided it out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sorta. Of. Oh come on, no epiphany? Quarter life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> life isn't always a young adult novel. What? Every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... Yes? Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a Dark Soul. Uh, D-R-K-S-O-L. Really old Lilimar. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his nature. He was from a time when the collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know. It was the only Willem with a clear-cut fear of mortality. 
No transcendence from him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problem. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um... Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome! I can't see a movie like that! So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle a stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays Mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay? She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. It's supposed to be a drink. That's like basically nothing... Nothing but comma train? And it should should be able to max that out. Get them absolutely and utterly smashed. Karma try, karma try, karma try. It's like one French weaver. It's like drinking eclectic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bubbly, classy, and strong. But one ammo hide. Nine karma try. Is that nine? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine. Make it big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All aged and mixed. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Alright, a big French weaver. I mean, either this is right or this is wrong. Oh, hey Nagato. It's, it's nice to see you come through. I'm literally just streaming uh, Valhalla real quick, doing half a shift, and then I have to go check out a couple of other streams. I heard there was like a VTuber Plus R tournament going on, so I was going to check that out. And there's also a very popular streamer doing a Friday Night Funkin' thing that I want to look at. But I'm, man, I'm happy to see you come through. What, um, how's it been? Because I know it's, it's been a minute. Yeah, man, I typically try to make it if I'm on Twitch and see you stream and lurk in here. Yo, mad respect. I make sure to try and uh, return the favor because I know I... And I see when you uh, post that you go up, so I'm just like, yo, let me go ahead and slide in, because it's, it's hard for me to catch it. How you been? Yeah, I ain't heard from you in a while. My boy Matt said he saw you. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably catch up with that in a moment, but yeah, he saw, he saw me in a Best Buy. Uh, it's, yeah, it's quite something. I'm still doing, uh, still doing school stuff. I uh, finished up with finals this week and I'm waiting to see whether or not I passed or fail. I need, I kind of need to pass, otherwise I can't finish the degree, but I felt like I did well on the final. So we'll see how that grading's gonna go. Well, I had to work closely with my professors to make sure at least one of the classes went through. One of the classes, uh, yeah, I, I uh, impressed even myself with the results of that final score. I was just waiting for this thing to get graded, and you know, it's pretty nerve-wracking. Oh, let me start this French Weaver. So, lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, palm sweaty, knees weak, arms spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> All right, let's get it on with the loot stuff. Oh, 
First, I'll try to guess your bust size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I'd say... B. Not enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Be like that, I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me makes me think your blood is A B. An S, an S. Oh, an S. Ha. <laughs> sub. B cup sub and A B blood type. So how many did I get right? No. Uh, please. Please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Eh? The only people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more risk and become more adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured this camera. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face on all material produced by Streaming Chun LLC. Yo, she did run it as an LLC. See, that's just business smart. I... Ah, fuck. I do need to establish an LLC if I want to try and game some things. I, that is a completely different discussion. I should probably uh, look into that at a later time. As far as the rap leap, huh? Hello, sister. I am almost... I think I'm almost done. I'm not entirely certain. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You romancing I I heckin' wish. I'm one of those people that's strongly not with people that smoke and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't I don't care when I see jail. <laughs> you did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Um... Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyway, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. She's out. Like a light. Like a light! Slept through the flight. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Be for B. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep rather than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. Alright. Wow, I didn't know how accurate I was to saying I was almost done with the night, but here we are. And within an hour range, the clock in. Like, once again, I'm really enjoying these sessions. So it's like, I have, you know, big thanks for everyone that do come through for these. Um, I try and do them regularly on Friday. Uh, considering that my schedule may shift, I'm not certain if it's still going to be 6 p.m. CST for when it happens, but I missed it an hour I missed it for an hour because there were other plans that got in the way of starting on time. And I, I hate it, but I may start, uh, may start doing streams a little bit later in the night because just 
everything shifting to later times and thing and that real life holding me up for that long. Model edits look great. Your model edits or my model edits, sister? If you're referring to me, the only thing that's probably changed since the last thing you saw it was the hair. And as you can see, the hair does not like to cooperate, but it does wiggle a little bit and I'm happy for it. Make sure this save happened. Double save. And I'm going to... I still have to go back to the beginning screen. It is now saved to keep playing. Okay. But yeah, so far I have been loving, I've been loving playing uh, Valhalla. I don't have too much to announce or too big of a plans. And by the time anyone sees it on YouTube, what I'm going to say next has already come out. Sunday, I got, I have a cover that's coming out. It's, oh no, did I actually forget which, which uh, Gundam opening it was? According to, according to the friends that I was talking with, this particular cover was part of a Gundam series that was, uh, that polarized the community or something. Um, I don't watch too much Gundam myself, so I don't, I don't immediately, I can't immediately identify or tell you which one it is. I'm looking up really quick. Ah, it's an opening from, uh, Gundam Age. So, I know it's not too much of a surprise, but I dropped, like, a teaser maybe two, three weeks ago, and I think it was around, like, the 12th or the 13th. You're, like, radiating blue. It's for the sake of the Valhalla streams. This is the only time that I radiate blue. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I dropped a teaser for it. And it's hot. Now's not the time. <laughs> this is only for the Valhalla streams. Otherwise, you will see me in normal color. Like earlier in the stream when I forgot to turn on the luminescence. <laughs> That's the side effect of being so far into Andromeda, you know? But there's a, like I said, I have this cover that's coming in on Sunday. It's probably gonna drop Sunday at midnight CST or Central Central Standard Time, and it's gonna be less than one minute. I I typically when I typically do covers, I try and keep them short. Um, I'll probably start doing longer covers down the road, but right now I just really want to uh, really want to figure out if I can collaborate on a song with someone. I've been offered by someone though so hopefully in the near future if that does come to fruition um i'll let you guys know about it other than other than that one offer though I've not received many offers to collaborate on anything not not in the vtubing side nor the music side and that's technically that's okay i still Still don't consider myself a VTuber. Like, not as much as the others do. So I do my best to support what they're able to do and try and send as much information about it as I can since I uh, since I am interested into the entire culture and I like to see I like to see my uh my fellow friends and fellow stars shine. With all of that in mind. I do need to actually sign off and not hold you guys up. I'm going to do a quick look-see and see if there's anyone that I can pass the stream off to. Since, you know, I'm live and I'm doing my fizzle, but we're, we're done over here, basically. Doing my hey, 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 shush. Shush. Any friends streaming? Ah. Yes. So he is. Oh, wait. You... Now there's like two different options. 
and basically I'm going to send y'all over to uh, to a certain penguin who's hosting a the, the first VTuber VFGC uh, Guilty Gear tournament. Um, I was going to send y'all over to the other Kara because he's currently taking part in a Smash Brothers tournament. But I did mention didn't mention this one first. So I'm gonna run the outro. I'm gonna set up the raid. And I actually set up the raid on time and not at random this time, so this is nice. And I'm going to bid you all a wonderful night. Uh, I will see you guys next week and maybe we can mix drinks and change lives together. With that cheesy line aside. I oh, love you too. With that line aside, this is Kirakuneo signing off. Letting you know that you're always welcome here for another verse. And remember to go out there and shine like the star that you are. One. Wait, where's, where's the outro? We'll stand together, you'll be next to us. We'll fight for the best you. So how big was this victory? Just know the sun will never go down Just around, let the nails and you start to tell